What you know about rolling down in the deep? Riding in the deep. D- d- down in the deep. Love that OG intro. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Trucker Style Sean YouTube channel. I am walking back to the cab over now. I just walked inside to Flying J right quick. Got me some Denny's. Now we're about to be uh, heading down to Miami. I'm on a JB Hunt load. It's actually pretty cool. But this is the first full weekend I'm going to be working in a long time. So come along with me. Let's go. And don't you wish you could just see this view every time you're walking up to your truck? All right, you guys. So, so far this week, so far what I've done. I've done two separate loads. Florida, Georgia, and then another Florida, Georgia. And this load is a Georgia back to Florida. So far, we have grossed just over 4800 since Monday. It is now Wednesday. So we're gonna keep on going so that we can uh, hit a, a pretty good uh, pretty good week. We're gonna run over the weekend and uh, I'll be back hopefully next Friday back to uh, back to the house. So I'm gonna try running for a straight two weeks, see how that gets me, see if it's worth actually running over the weekend because I've been noticing there's not a lot of freight moving over the weekend right now, but Let's see what happens. This has to be the slowest pump I've ever seen. Because I have the satellite pump going too. And that's what we're getting. So I've been sitting here for about an hour. And this kid over here in the minivan keeps stopping people and asking them for money for gas. One guy actually gave him a gas can with gas in it, which he waited till he drove off and just put it inside of the van. Damn people here in Miami hustling, y'all. Man, y'all ever just sat back admiring your own truck? Man, I, it, this truck has come so far, it, it's a lot further than I expected. All right, you guys, so real quick, I got a leaky brake chamber here on my steer axle and instead of changing out the entire thing, I'm just going to change out the diaphragm. Let's get to it y'all. Alright you guys, so I know the diaphragm is bad because right under here there is a vent hole that when I hit the brakes it's just pissing air out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this that way if there is any air pressure in it still even though the uh, tanks are drained down i'm gonna vent that off real quick i'm gonna pull this clamp change out the diaphragm let's get to it y'all all right no air pressure in here we're good we can tighten that one back up Instead of re buying a whole brand new chamber, this is the cheaper alternative because a new diaphragm for these is only six bucks. Now, if yours is completely rotted out and rusted, 
I just changed out the entire chamber. But these ones, it's not rusted out. So it makes more sense. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. It makes more sense to just go cheaper and just change out a diaphragm than wasting that extra money, you know? And while I'm doing it, most likely these chambers are this, about the same age. So I'm gonna change out the diaphragm on the other side as well, just as a precaution, you know? Almost got this off. So this one thing about being an owner operator, you guys, is these little things, if you if you're not willing to try them, they're going to nickel and dime you to death, man. So, get out and at least try and fix your own stuff, man. Here we go. We've got the clasp off. This edge inside here. I'm gonna clean that up. There really isn't anything there. Spring still looks good.
smarter move might have been to uh, compress this spring for a minute. my god that whole video I didn't actually record because it was on photo wow okay <laughs> anyways I'm not taking this back apart but we got the class one we got it tightened down enough where it feels snug so that um, diaphragm in there is mushroomed down just a tad we're good now I did adjust the brake, or I uh, loosened the brake up earlier just to bring the that the push piece in or down, so I get that diaphragm in. So I'm gonna have to adjust this brake real quick. But yeah, if y'all are doing this, you probably know how to adjust your brake. So I'll get back with you when it's done. All right, we got our idling up to build up pressure. Here you go. This is that old chamber, or this is the old diaphragm. I think that's why we was leaking in. you guys just got uh, some lunch over here at the quick trip I'm over here in Georgia and uh, yeah I'm gonna be taking my break going back in tonight dropping this trailer off grabbing the loaded trailer heading back down to Florida I need to grab a shower because my shirt is so dirty right now but yeah hope you all enjoyed the video and this, this should just show y'all don't be scared to try and do some of the repairs on your own <coughs> you got to just jump into it man and if you need help there's always youtube videos so that being said like comment subscribe you know all that fancy youtube jargon y'all have a wonderful day later y'all here we go now what i got you got to give it to your thoughts yeah. do a little nothing then you do the little walk Get it, buddy.